Hi guys, Charity Shop Gold or Garbage. Picked up this little chap in the Charity Shop for a pound. It's infrared controlled and obviously it didn't come with the controller. Uh, it's got good batteries in it. In fact, there was a little red LED came on there when I switched it on initially. And it, and it does make sound effects, or at least it blows that little whistle. Um, my plan is to take it apart and replace the infrared controller with an ordinary 27 megahertz controller. It only goes forwards and backwards. Uh, when it goes forwards it goes straight, when it goes backwards this little wheel will slop around so it turns in reverse. So we'll take it apart and swap the receiver. I might have a look at the existing infrared receiver and see if there's anything we can do so we can keep the sound effects working, even if they are a bit annoying. So I expect it does more than just whistles. So that's what we're going to do, take it apart, swap the receiver. I've taken the bottom off, and there's just six screws. And the first thing I notice is it's rubber band drive, uh, or pulley. And it looks like somebody's got a bit um, over generous with the oil or grease. This is very slippery. I can't imagine it's meant to be. Well, it might be, but uh, I would have thought that would have made the pulley slip with all that grease on it. It's very slippery. Well, I'm a little confused. I've taken it apart so I can actually get to the drive belt. But with the belt round this pulley and round that pulley, it's still this loose. So I don't understand that. There's no way that's going to work. I suppose I could make it figure eight. But look, it has to be that far away before it's putting any tension on there. I'll say figure eight if I uh, even as figure eight it's not gonna grip. No, that's still ever so loose. So that's a bit of a disappointment right at the beginning. Because even if I swap out the receiver, that's no good at all. Just so you can see how it should be working. Pulley turns. That drives the gear that's there that drives that gear. Just so we can see it running, or at least the motor turning, I've used a loom band. I've got plenty of them. And you can see they're significantly smaller than the original band. So we've got one on there. It's stretched pretty tight, but we can at least see the motor turning the pulleys and turning the back axle. So, yeah, motor works. Next thing will be to pull the receiver out and have a look at it. To get to the receiver, I could just reach in there with a screwdriver and unscrew it, 
or I could undo those six screws. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that'll take the bottom half of the train off. So I think I'll do that. Before I do that, I'll just point out that's where the speaker is. And these wheels at the front are all dummies. They don't actually turn. They just sit on there like that. And then there's the axle. Back axle goes across there. So I'll put the bottom back on. But before I do that, I'll take the six screws out so we can take the bottom away from the top. So I've reassembled the bottom half. Interestingly enough, this one's obviously suffered a bit. All of these plastic pillars that should go up into the top are broken. They're all right on the other side, but this side they were all broken off. So now, looking in there, I don't know if we can see with the light. That's the actual infrared sensor tucked up in the top there and then that's the receiver board and then up there there's an LED so I might as well unscrew this anyway That's the sensor, infrared sensor. I don't know like that wants to come out. It's broken as well. It's using a bit of a state this one. Oh, that's what all that white stuff is around there. It's been glued back together. Oh, well. Right, so up in there there's an LED. Oh, I'll leave it alone for now. So looking at this receiver board Rough guess, I would say those four transistors are probably the H bridge for the steer uh, for the drive motor. Unfortunately, is probably the infrared decoder and the sound effects. I was rather hoping we might have been able to intercept the sound effects and get it to make the noises when we wanted it to. But that's not going to happen. That's frustrating. Those grey wires are the speaker wires. It does actually say SPK on the circuit board down there. red wire and the black wire will be the power feed. The red wire goes 
via the on-off switch. blue wire and that black wire will be the feed for the motor which would make sense because that would make that the H bridge Okay, so, yeah, a bit disappointing. I was rather hoping to be able to intercept the sound effects. But there must be a bit of a memory chip in there to generate the sounds. But we're not going to be able to access them. So the easiest thing, as I say, is just um, stick one of my little 27 megahertz receivers on there, so we can go forwards and backwards. I'm going to use this little 27 megahertz receiver. It's one that I've already damaged, and it only gives me forwards and backwards anyway. So that should be ideal for this little train. Well, I haven't tidied it up yet. We've still got the old receiver connected to the speaker and the infrared and the LED in the funnel. But the important bits are now connected to this 27 megahertz receiver. So we've got on off, battery going in there and the aerial. So, forwards, turn in reverse, forwards, turn in reverse. Like I said, I've no idea how long that loom band will hold up as the... Um, connector or drive belt but that's a successful conversion I'll tidy it up now back together I haven't glued the broken bit back in place yet but I'll do that but you'll see we have the red LED and it works no sound which many people would say is a bonus so we've just got a nice radio controlled Thomas the Tank Engine 27 megahertz with a bonus of using one of the receivers that I'd burnt out the left and right um, part of the circuit board. Still goes forwards and backwards and that's all we need for this train.
Job done. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.